Good evening, you sexy sons of bitches. I am the Rockabilly Rambler. I'm going to do an update on the gringo. So, been welding quite a bit. Quite, quite a bit. I filled in this panel. It warped a little. Warp City. This one, this side in particular is Warp City. Having a little bit of trouble filling in this panel. I'm having a little trouble getting the line right. The, the roof is dented now, I told you guys. It caused me a little bit of a headache. Up here, I had trouble holding it up, so it sagged a little. I'm going to try shoving in one of those 2x2 two two bars in there and try jacking it up. And maybe even heating it because it, it's been sagging on me and I can't keep it straight while I'm welding it. I really want this car to be a hard top. Obviously, I can't just, you know, magically make it happen. So what I'm going to do, end up doing, I'm going to install a roll cage. I'm going to tie into where the pillars used to be uh, to just strength, strengthen this out. Probably going to end up removing the side glass. And what I'd like to do is have like Jeep windows where it's fabric with... Uh, clear plastic vinyl sheet just to weatherproof it while it's chilling you know it's 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 black friday here today and the leaves barely turned though we've got really mild weather here so i'm not too troubled about the cold i had glass cutter i really don't know where it went so i'm gonna have to buy a new glass cutter and then obviously i have to buy new glue right now i'm gonna keep on welding i have all this weld to do and if you know anything about anything you know that this is really time consuming just because you have to spot weld it. Um, if you try to run a bead, you'll just end up warping the shit out of it and I really don't want to do that. So that's kind of done. There's a little bit of a couple of gaps to fill in. So I'm having a really hard time uh, welding the roof because this is one of the most mild chops I've done. Like I said, I got the car sitting on blocks. The tires are off, so it's as low as I can possibly get it. Um, I'm still having a pretty difficult time welding up here just because it's so high up. And, you know, this is my chest right here. So I think it'd be cool while we're here to go ahead and give the car a sunroof, you know. It'll actually be really good because it'll actually give me a chance to cut out the, the dented part of the roof so I can uh step into the car and well done this strip out here we get about 300 days of sun so sunroofs are golden out here so i'm gonna go ahead and weld this side up i fucked up a little this piece wasn't quite thick enough to tie into this curve it's cool we got a lot more metal so while i'm on that subject i know a lot of people were looking forward to the turbo heist i'm looking forward to the turbo heist Nothing would make me happier than the turbo heist, but it needs quite a bit of work right now I need to make an adapter to tie in the carburetor to the turbo inlet. I need to make an adapter to tie the turbo outlet to the head So here's the turbo Here's what I've got so far. I cut out flanges that match the carburetor flange. So Obviously the diameter of the carburetor and the diameter of the turbo inlet are completely different So what I'm gonna have to do is make a cone out of sheet metal to adapt from the carburetor outlet to the turbo inlet and I went and I went ahead and made the investment uh, instead of buying little sheets for 20 bucks. I went ahead and bought The whole sheet of steel So I went ahead and made the investment. I bought the whole sheet of steel four feet by ten feet this will allow me to make the adapters uh, this will allow me to do the chop top this will allow me to do any other body work I want to do on the car like deleting the bumpers when we delete the bumper we can go straight down and just make it flush and clean kind of like a roll pan uh, also a roll pan so now that I have this deal I can do all the shit that I wanted to do for so long but couldn't the biggest challenge was getting this shit home because it's super floppy also i'm gonna start making these to sell i do run a custom shop if you guys want some goofy kooky spooky shit whatever you want made out of sheet metal because now i have the thing uh, go ahead and let me know i have an ebay store 
I can upload it to eBay and you can buy it from my eBay store. It's completely safe. It's got the eBay protection. I'm, I can make bats. I can make... Uh, I was thinking about making Hello Kitty taillights. Because uh, those are those are going to sell. like Or Domo or whatever. Whatever the kids want. The shit does. I'm not working on the gringo but let's do an update anyway I finished welding the front I left a big gap it's cool so I started uh, filling in the back and I got warpage it's actually not too bad like I'm gonna brace it uh, around with uh, half inch square tubing uh, making this curve is gonna be interesting getting the radius is perfect but you know it's no big deal I can get it Right here at the back, it kicks up, and I'm not really sure how to how to get that out. I cut here, and I tried to pull it up, but it, there's just a seam there. I think it looks kind of cool, though. Like, if you follow the line, it arches, and it starts fastbacking, and then it's got a little ducktail. If you guys know what a ducktail is, it's a hairstyle like the one Chuck Berry used to rock, and uh, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of work here. I should have filled here and moved the roof back and gotten the curve that was here to close this gap. But I didn't do that. I decided to stretch it here. So I lost all of this hard compound curve and all of this drip rail. I, you know, it's lost. So I'm gonna have a lot of work here pretty soon building this up. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I didn't plan it. I really went in half-assed and, and blind and I, I just wanted to see it lowered already. Anyway, that's not what I'm working on today because last night some bullshit happened. So last night we went out for a nice long ride. We were up and down the town. And we cruised around and did our thing. And uh, rigid life, man. I lost the bolt that goes here and I, they actually happened and couldn't happen at a better spot. I was really close to home and It happened as I was pulling off of the freeway. So if I would have happened on the freeway, I would have been fucked but uh, You know no worse for wear so today we're gonna fix this probably gonna go buy some red thread locker and Thread lock these bolts cuz I don't want to lose my fender <clears throat> Get my gloves Hey, what you doing? So I don't like driving cars. I don't really fit. Also, it's fucking hot as balls when you hop in. Driving my mom's car. Broom, broom. Hey, buddies. Hey, you buddies aren't going to get out, are you? Carnal, you know what's going to happen if you get out? Reduce, reuse, recycle. See what else we can get rid of. This is all steel. This is steel. Better put my clothes inside the automobile. It's gonna get ruined out here. Yes, this car has a 
pink leopard print sunshade it's my mom's car all right so i had 17 pounds of aluminum cans it was 680 and i had 42 pounds of steel it's a dollar 69 so i got about eight bucks 848 uh, all right let's go down to right, the so it's as i suspected uh the hardware here is a ripoff uh, it's an auto parts store i'm gonna try a hardware store next uh but about the thread locker and i bought this here candy spray i love this shit oh it comes with a free sticker i always get these stickers and i always put them on the dashboard and they always fall off all hanging bags a dollar 18 this would have been about uh eight dollars at autozone Seems legit. All right, so two hours later, we're back home, and Betty's trying to eat these these hardwares. These aren't snacks. These aren't snacks. Stop trying to eat this. Don't eat this. No, it's not a snack. All right. So I don't know how I'm going to unjam. Betty, stop. I don't know how I'm going to unjam the fender from the spring. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo these bolts anyway. Let's see if the other side will come off. This looks like it's coming off. Uh. Uh. And this, uh, Hello. the turbos. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Hello. Shut up. I'm trying to make a video. Um. <laughs> Alright, go away. This man's so spoiled. He's the one that needs to get, get hugs. Alright, these dogs aren't letting me film, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop cuz cuz they're not <laughs> Let's give this stuff a good shake is the school you see What you say we lad should we give this a red thread locker a good shake? Uh, oh Wow, oh my battery came loose. Oh, that's so bad rigid life as I was saying there's a lot of vibration from uh, this being a rigid. It looks cool, but next time I'm definitely not getting a rigid. This is a pain in the ass. This is like my third rigid or fourth rigid frame. And it's a pain in the ass. Shit just falls off, it's unreliable. Guys, get out of the way. This was the, this damage to these threads is actually from the vibration. Definitely the last time I do this. If I, I should have gotten the Cleveland Cycle Works Ace. It's a much better bike. <sighs> of course, I need to breach this thing. All right, so there's obviously a wait time. Set this to here. So I'm not going to ride the bike tonight at least. I'm probably not going to ride it for a few days because I got a trip coming up. Yeah. Should be golden after this. But I figure if it doesn't get loose, it can't vibrate. So... Here's hoping. All right, look at that. It looks like blood. Let's see if we can get some of this. Good evening, you sexy sons of bitches. I am the Rocket Billy Ramblin. Today I am returning an inverter that let the smoke out. Luckily, my uncle is balling pretty hard and he bought a 3000 watt inverter at the Flying J right outside of town. Uh, so, all is well. That's what I always say, if you want something done right, you gotta throw money at it. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a mechanic. Well, I'm saying that because I'm a mechanic. If you want something done right, you gotta throw money at it. Got stuck behind this truck. Fuck you, sweet bum. I'm gonna bump it off. I need to slow down for you. <laughs> the 
they had the accident i actually went around the speed bump and it was hauling ass and uh <laughs> i didn't slow down because i went around the speed bump ah, i fail at life i didn't learn anything this past Monday but last Monday um, neighbor lady's sister which is actually kind of kind of fine came over and asked me if I could fix her plumbing and I tried I it took all day I'm not a plumber <laughs> even though I could pass for one yeah I, I was there all day I was even there part of the next day and I couldn't fix it she ended up hiring somebody else so I burnt myself in that neighborhood at least I, I turned on a lot of people that asked me if, they, if I can do their plumbing and this time I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't got nothing better to do. Maybe I could earn a couple of bucks. So I tried it and I failed. And that was two days burnt. And then the next day I went to Rando's Crib and returned his vacuum cleaner. I had a whole thing planned where I was going to drain the house of water. Hung out with him all day. As bros should do. But uh, and after that it was Thanksgiving. And then the day after that, I was hungover. And then it was the weekend, and I worked on the car a little bit. I shot a little bit of video. And then... Monday, I planned the trip. I rode out to the Harbor Freight to get the inverter. And I... Nagged Rando once again for some wires. So I could connect the inverter. And then... On Tuesday we drove out to Albuquerque, that was Tuesday morning, and then Wednesday night we came back, and here we are. So that's how it is. I borrowed a hundred dollars from my grandpa to pay for the inverter, and right now I gotta return them. So here goes.